Hi everyone, Mrs. Brower here. I want to take a real quick opportunity to let you guys know about a class that I just started teaching this year. Um, it is a Project Lead the Way course called Cybersecurity. So what it is, is it's offered to juniors and seniors. Um, assuming that you've probably already had some computer science classes, uh, you may have taken the tech class with Mr. Fector or Mr. Clark where they facilitate or you may have taken Mr. Heffelfinger's class. Those are really good places to start to make sure you're ready. With that, the course is designed to expose you all to the ever-growing and far-reaching field of cybersecurity. Um, this will be done through problem-based learning where you guys get to all role play as cybersecurity experts and train just as a cybersecurity professionals do. So you can see real quick here, I'm on at the Project Lead the Way site. Um, when we get going in there, there's four different units. The first one, it's pretty easy. It's really all about your personal security. So in that scenario, we're going to we're going to play as if someone has taken your computer and put a file on there that you did not expect. And we're going to go in there and dig and find out what else did they put on there? What are they hidden? And how can you make sure that you're protecting yourself? So that's a nice little uh, intro to the class. Unit two, getting a little tougher, system security. In this case, you're being hired by a website or by a company that is starting a website. Um, they're growing, they're ready to sell their product online. They need you to do a pen test and make sure that they don't have any vulnerabilities. They want you to find the exploits and come up with the solutions to fix those for their website. That's actually what we're finishing up in class right now here before Christmas break. Unit three will come back and we're gonna start working on network security. This time you have completed all of your training and your courses and you probably have some sort of degree or certifications and you're hired by a water company. Now you're probably like, why would the water company in town hire me? They actually use tons of computers to run all of the pumps and manage everything. Well, someone hacks into the system and you have to identify what did they do and how can you fix it before the town runs out of clean water. And then finally in unit four is applied cybersecurity. This is the one I'm looking forward to. Um, we're going to talk about some different ways to protect your information by encrypting. Um, in this scenario, the police have caught someone that stole a, a big, huge diamond. And you have to go in looking at their computer and all the digital trails that they've been left behind. And you need to find the clues and figure out um, where that diamond's hidden. So it's really interesting. It does get a little tough, lots of reading, lots of um, kind of puzzle solving and thinking things through, but we work together as a group. Um, I really hope that you'll come ask me more questions if you're curious about this, and I hope you'll join me next year. The last note I have is we also are starting a help desk. You'll see that in place next semester. That's also a course. That one you have to get some permissions for, um, but I am looking for kids that not only troubleshoot computers, but maybe you're really good at making videos or tutorials um, or how-to sheets. Uh, maybe a teacher or a classmate needs help making a video. And we, we video, <laughs> excuse me, we video. Maybe they have to work with a PDF and they need to know how to convert it. Um, you'll kind of learn and then teach others how to do those things. All right, I think that's all. Um, come see me in the Innovation Center. And let me know if you have any other questions and you guys have a great day.